Hello everyone. You're welcome to Fuku Mathematics and in this video we'll be providing the solution to this problem. And there is something different about my my solvings. I always um explain into detail. So if that is okay by you, then stay and learn and equally subscribe to my channel. We have from 4 to the power of x times 4 to the power of x equals 80, right? Now, this is multiplication, and there are certain things you must know. Do you know that if you have a to the power of b times a to the power of b, this can be the same thing as a to the power of b plus b, right? Then this same thing here can be the same thing to, you know, the same a to the power of b times a to the power of b can be written as a times a to the power of b, meaning that you multiply the base and then pick one of the powers since the powers are the same. So it's either you do it this way or you do it in this form. So both of them here are the same thing, okay? So let me put this like this. So now let's continue to the problem that we have. So I would like to write that as four to the power of x plus x equals 80, right? But you cannot divide both sides by four because this four is attached to this power right so you can't pick it out so to take another step we have 4 to the power of 2x equals 80 then from here we can now apply um we can now take the log of both sides since we cannot express 80 in this form so we will now write log 4 to the power of 2x equals log of 80. Now, the law says that um, the power law of logarithm says the power here should come behind and multiply the log. So we're going to have 2x multiplying log 4. And this will be equal to log 80. Right? But there's something we can do because we have log 4 here. Um, let's divide both sides by log 4 so that 2x will be free. So if I do that, I'll divide this by log of 4, then divide this by log 4. If you do the same thing on both sides of an equation, you have not changed anything. This is going there so that 2x will be equal to log 80 over log 4. But then we can decide to simplify what we have on the right. So I'll write 2x, then this is log 4 times 20, then over log 4. Now look at 20, 4 can also be found in 20. So that means we can write this as 2x equals log 4 times 20 is 4 times 5. So 4 times 4 times 5 will now give us 80 over there. So let's put it in brackets. Then everything is over log 4. Then we will now apply one of the laws of logarithm again that says if you have log a times b, this is the same thing as log a plus log of b. So if there are three terms, it will still be the same thing. Now this means that I will have 2x to be equal to log 4 plus log 4 this log 4 plus this log 4 i mean plus this 5 right so we now have log 5 there 
all of this is, divide, is divided by log 4. Now, you cannot cancel one of the logs and remove the other one. This log 4, the denominator, is for every term in the numerator. So we're going to have to x here that is equal to log 4 over log 4 plus log 4 over over log of 4. Okay, let me write this better then plus log 5 over log 5 i mean log 4 okay so this is what we have now let's continue from here now our 2x will be equal to log 4 into log 4 is 1 plus log 4 into log 4 is 1 and then plus log 5 over log 4 now this means that we have 2x equals 2 plus log 5 over log 4. Mind you, we can divide all through by 2, divide this by 2, divide by 2, but in this case we multiply it by 1 over 2. You know, if you multiply any number by half, you're dividing it by 2. 2 can go, so x will be equal to this right there is 1, then plus, this is 1 over 2, let's have it first, 1 over 2, then log 4 over log 5, okay, this is log 5 over log 4, right, but then, sorry I wrote out of sight, I can change the base of this so that 4 becomes the base of the numerator. So x will now be 1 plus 1 over 2. Okay, so we have log 5 to base 4. So this is what we have as the value of x. But like we always do, we verify our solution. Okay, we the equation was 4 to the power of x times 4 to the power of x equals 80. So that means we have um, 4 to the power of 1 plus 1 over 2 log 5 to base 4, right? Then times 4 to the power of 1 plus 1 over 2 log 5 to base 4. So the question is, will this give us 20? That's all we want to know. Now, do you know that this 1 over 2 is a power to 5? So we can better write this as 4 to the power of 1 plus log square root of 5. Because 5 to the power of 1 over 2 is square root of 5 to base 4. Then times 4 to the power of 1 plus log square root of 5 to base 4. Now, you realize that everything here is a power to 4. So we can write it using one of the laws of indices. 4 to the power of 1 times 4 to the power of log root 5 over 4. Then times, okay, let me use bracket. To show the times okay times 4 to the power of 1 multiply by 4 to the power of log root 5 to the base of 4 this is because if I pick one of the bases I will add the powers so that will give me this now 4 to the power of 1 is 4 multiply by 4 to the power of log root 5 to base 4. This base 4 and this 4 will go. So we have root 5 to multiply. Now the same thing will apply here. So we have the same 4. Multiply, multiply by square root of 5. Now let's see if this is going to give us some, um, if this is going to give us um, 80 on the other side. Okay, 4 times 4 is 16. Right, then root 5 times root 5 will give us square root of 25. 
and that is 16 multiplied by 5. 16 multiplied by 5 is 80. So this is to confirm that our x is truly 1 plus 1 over 2 log 5 to the base of 4. Thank you for watching and if you love this video, you subscribe to my channel to get some more of them. Thank you for watching.